In a clear move by government designed to get tough on those who should be self-isolating but are not, and in the context of a growing concern of a second wave, from the 28th of September 2020, if you are required by law to compulsory self-isolate at home and don't, you will face significant fines. If you have been identified and instructed by NHS Test and Trace to self-isolate, not a request as it was before, you will face a fine of £1,000 for the first breach, bringing this law in line with the penalty for breaking quarantine after international travel. But this fine could increase up to £10,000 if you're a repeat offender or you're a business owner who threatens self-isolating staff with redundancy if they don't come to work. It will also be an offence if you knowingly give false information to NHS Test and Trace. So for example, it will be an offence if you say you have not been in close contact with anyone when there's a neighbour's evidence saying you've been holding a house party at your home with many guests. Or if you say you've not broken self-isolation rules when there is clear CCTV evidence showing you've been to the local pub or restaurant. You will need to self-isolate if you have tested positive for COVID-19 or you have been contacted by NHS Test and Trace to self-isolate because you are a contact of someone who has tested positive. That could be someone you have been in close contact with, such as a family member you live with, or a friend you have been out with, or a teacher or student in your class, or your work colleagues. There are a limited number of exceptions where you can leave your home if you are legally required to self-isolate. For example, to attend a medical appointment with your dentist or optician, or to leave your home due to violence and abuse. The government have made it clear that a number of enforcement steps will be taken to make sure that people are complying with the self-isolation laws. These include NHS test and trace call handlers making regular contact to check your self-isolating with the ability to escalate any suspicion of non-compliance to local authorities and local police. Using police to check your self-isolating in high incident areas and in high risk groups based on local intelligence, so expect home visits. Investigating and prosecuting high profile cases of non-compliance and acting on reports from third parties like the neighbours who believe you should be self-isolated because you've tested positive but are not. The government have also introduced a one-off £500 self-isolation support payment if you're legally required to stay at home and self-isolate. You will be eligible for this one-off payment if you live in England, you're employed or self-employed, you cannot work from home and will lose income and you're receiving a qualifying benefit. The government believes that this will apply to just under 4 million people who are in receipt of benefits in England eligible for this payment. If you believe you're eligible for this one-off payment, please contact your local authority. You are expected to have this scheme up and running on the 12th of October 2020 and payments can be backdated. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Community Legal Education to be the first to watch our groundbreaking series on emergency coronavirus laws and on other topics. Stay safe and may the justice be with you.